Hello everyone, today in this module we are going to talk about the bioethics and IPR concerns of genetically engineered crops. Genetic engineering has expanded the scope of plant breeding by enabling introduction of candidate genes from an organism into the target plant. Gene conferring resistance to stress have been introduced into target plants not only from plant sources but also from bacteria and animals. Genetic engineering technology has provided a way of increasing nutritional value of crops as seen in golden rice and has also enabled inhibition of undesirable constituents from crops as seen in decaffeinated coffee. Genetically engineered plants are also being used as a cheap alternative for production of many medicines. However, the use of this technology has raised some concerns which include the impact of transgenic crop cultivation on the environment and their potential effects on human health. Perhaps the most alarming aspect of this technology is that it has to lead to industrialization of agriculture and establishment of corporate monopoly due to the application of intellectual property rights regime. It is important to weigh the risk and benefits of this technology, keeping in mind the human welfare and the principles of justice. In this module, we shall look into some of the concerns raised about genetic engineering technology. We also see how this technology has affected or will affect agriculture practices in India. The learning objectives of this module are ecological and social concerns about GE technology, economic and regulatory aspects regarding GE technology, transgenic plants in India. Genetic engineering has targeted various traits for improvement which includes increased resistance to pests and diseases and providing tolerance to abiotic stress. Another important aspect dealt with uh, by the genetic engineering technology is to increase the intrigenic yield potential of crops by altering plant architecture, manipulating flowering time or redistribution of photoassimilates to desired sinks. The technology has also made it possible to improve crop quality by increasing its in nutritional value or inhibiting toxic constituents. Genetically engineered plants or cells are also being used in the production of useful pharmaceutical compounds which act against human diseases like malaria, gauchos diseases, etc. So far commercially released com products using genetically engineering technology have addressed six important traits related to plant improvement. These traits include insect and virus resistance, herbicide tolerance, introduction of male sterility, altered oil composition and delayed ripening. The main crops used for this purpose include corn, soya bean, cotton and canola. Several genetically modified crops have also been removed from the market due to suboptimal performance like the flavor saver tomato which showed a longer shelf life. Commercial development of genetically engineered crops have been largely carried out by large seed companies like Monsanto and DuPont in the US, Bayer in Germany, Syngenta in Switzerland and various others. The proprietary seed market that is subject to exclusive monopoly accounted for over 82% of the commercial seed market worldwide of which Monsanto, DuPont and Syngenta together accounted for 47%. Hence GE crops have revolutionized the practice of agriculture where the role of generation and distribution of seeds to farmers have been taken over by a few large companies worldwide. The size of conglomerates handling transgenic seeds is only growing with mergers between these companies like the recent one between Bayer and Monsanto. Besides the advantages offered by GE technology, there are some concerns raised regarding the ecological impact of the genetically modified crops, the impact on human health, the development of resistance in insect pests as well as the prospect of agriculture moving out from the hands of the farmers to corporate companies. We shall look into some of these concerns. The main ecological concern is that horizontal gene transfer may occur from the transgenic plant to other 
organisms leading to undesirable effects on the ecosystem. For example, there is a possibility of the herbicide resistance trait of the transgenic being transferred to non-GM plants growing in the wild. This would lead to the development of super weeds as has been seen in the case of milkweed which has developed resistance against the herbicide glyphosate leading to usage of even higher doses of the herbicide or non-use due to the ineffectiveness in weed control. Horizontal gene, gene transfer is also seen to occur in nature, but over a long period of time which uh, allows biological and ecological adaptation to the new trait through evolution. The sudden introduction of new traits into a plant may not provide sufficient time for its integration and adaptation in the ecosystem. Horizontal gene transfer to other organisms like soil bacteria, beneficial insects or human gut microflora may lead to unpredictable effects on the ecosystem and on human health. Transgenic crops could affect human health in various ways. The new protein expressed by the transgenic has a possibility of being allergenic. The transgenes, especially the antibiotic resistant genes used as selectable markers are also thought to lead to development of antibiotic resistance human pathogens. The latter concern has been dealt with by the development of marker free transgenic plants, hence providing a solution to the possibility that bacteria may develop resistance due to horizontal gene transfer from transgenic plants. Further, based on observations made on human health over 15 to 20 years of consuming genetically modified crops, trustworthy health organizations like WHO have reported that many millions of people have consumed foods derived from GM plants, mainly maize, soya bean and oil seed rape without any observed adverse effects. A valid concern raised about cultivation of transgenic crops that are resistant to insects like the Bt crops is that the expression of the Bt asserts a strong selection pressure on the helicoverpa populations leading to the development of resistance over several generations. This has also been the case with conventional bread crops expressing insect resistance. Two solutions to overcome this problem include the planting of non-transgenic refuge crop along with the transgenic crop so as to reduce the selection pressure on insect populations and the other is to stack several insect resistant genes in the same plant hence making it difficult for the insect to develop resistance against two products. The effect of transgenic plants expressing Bt on beneficial insect like pollinators has also been expressed. However, this effect is not restricted only to transgenic crops since spraying of insecticides leads to even more drastic effects on the non-target organisms. An acceptable solution in such a case is to make use of transgenic crops as one of the components of integrated pest management. Let us now look at some of the economic and regulatory concerns related to GE technology. Genetic engineering is an expensive technology and most of the research and development of genetically engineered crops is carried out by, by technology companies like Bayer in Germany and US, DuPont in the US and Syngenta in Switzerland. The proprietary seed market that is subject to exclusive monopoly accounted for over 82% of the commercial seed market worldwide of which Monsanto, DuPont and Syngenta together accounted for 47 percent. Hence, G crops have revolutionized the practice of ag agriculture where the role of generation and distribution of the seeds to farmers have been taken over by a few large companies worldwide. The biotechnology companies are able to patent the technology under the IPR regime and hence control pricing and distribution of the seeds. Bt cotton is the first crop to be approved by the Government of India in 2002 for commercial cultivation. Area under Bt cotton cultivation has steadily increased over the last 12 years and occupies more than 90 percent of the crop growing areas. India has become the number two cotton producer 
in the world. However, Bt cotton cultivation has as reduced from 2015 onwards in response to attacks by pink ballworm and white fly. Efforts are also go going on in various public funded institutes to develop content transgenics that would reduce the need for application of insecticides. As of now, cotton transgenics are considered to be one of the most important component of integrated pest management. An important concern about cultivation of transgenic crops in India pertains to the social fabric of rural society. In India, the farmers play a role as breeders, conservationists and cultivators. The land holding in India is much smaller than that in other countries where industrial agriculture is practiced and the choice of crop to be grown is collectively decided by a group of farmers at a local level and changes each season. Growing transgenic crops may lead to increase the level of industrialization of agriculture which will impact on the traditional structures of society and lead to a reduction of the control of communities over their own genetic and natural resources and cultural values. To summarize, we have seen in this module that though genetic engineering has led to improved plant productivity due to increased resistance to pests and diseases, tolerance to abiotic stress, intrinsic yield potential, nutritional value etc. The use of this technology has raised some concerns regarding their ecological impact and potential harm to human health. The ecological concerns are similar to those raised against conventionally bred crops and their harmful effects on human health has not been observed even after 20 years of consuming genetically engineered crops. Development of insect resistance and infestication by new pest is a major concern regarding cultivation of Bt transgenic crops and has led to the use of pesticides thus increasing the cost of cultivation. Finally, an important concern about the use of genetically engineered crops is that their cost and regulatory aspects due to the monopoly of large agricultural companies and imposition of the IPR regime. As far as India is concerned, industrialization of agriculture may undermine the social fabric of rural societies. Thank you.